can tell you that. And you know, it's, it's not it's not so much the heat, is it the gosh darn humidity. And it, you know that, you know, when you sit there in the bed and you, you're just sweaty, you know, and you just, you go to reach for the water on the nightstand and you slide right out of bed and the wife says, Stop making so much noise, you're waking me up, go to sleep. Well, let me tell you, yeah. times like that make me think about moving up north, you know. Good idea. Yeah, I'd do it too. Of course, then I couldn't watch the Packers, you know. The Packers are... Gosh, I like the Packers. I'd do anything for the Packers. Who can forget Vince Lombardi, you know? Back in the glory years? Not me, boy. Well, anyhow. Getting to be that time of year. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, my dear hunter, how do you do? I got the deer hunting rapping tail for you. I'm so excited, it's my favorite time of year. I love to feed my buns, chasing trophy deer. But don't clap your hands to the stomping of the feet, cause yeah, he's like me. He can't, he can't keep a steady beat, no. Come on, I guess hit with the beat, hey. I got a great big knife, cause the hunting is my life. It's my chance to drink beer and get, get away, away from, from the, the wife. wife. It's a boy's night out, acting stupidly. Say now, baby, baby, don't you think maybe how about you and me, yeah? <laughs> well, he partied all night, never made it to our bunks. And I was sitting in the tree stand on a tree day drunk. Wind was blowing 45. Temp 30 below, I was freezing to death, then it started to snow, so I got down from the trees and start heading for the truck, and that's when I seen it there, the 30 point buck. 30 point buck! 30 point, 30 point buck. 30 point buck. 30 point buck. Well, he was eight foot tall, weighed 12,000 pounds, with every step there was a sh- sh- shaking on the ground. He was so wonderful, so beautiful, strutted right out of my dreams. He was created by God, just for outdoor magazines. Now I'm not much for thinking, no I don't do it often, but I had an idea. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> to put that dirty pointer right in his coffin. Yeah. Yeah, you get him there, Clyde. Uh, 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 dirty point buck. I couldn't get to my grenades. Yeah, right. The howitzer was in the shop. My stomach was tied into a monkey knot. Yeah, my only hope was Betty Lou. She was the one. A combination AK-57 Uzi radar laser triple barrel double scoped heat seeking shotgun. <laughs> Uh, the, the women clapping in the back there, I gotta make that. Well, you would come in for me, getting bigger and bigger, but my fingers were so frozen I could not pull the trigger. I kicked off my boots, fired with my big toe. I was Dirty Harry, John Wayne, and G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Yeah, that 30 point buck was only 10 feet away, y'all. Yeah. Still, I couldn't seem to hit him, and he wouldn't run away. And, and after 20 minutes, when the smoke cleared, there were hunters on the ground in the world's biggest deer standing tall and proud. He looked at me and yawned, and then a flash of white. And there he was, gone. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Clyde. Yeah, don't don't, don't worry about it. Well, seven men got up, and then one fell down. A big lump of blaze orange shaking on the ground. At first I thought he was one of the boys, but it was a no-brother-good-in-law man from Illinois. Then the back on the next plane, you know. Did you see the turdy pointer? 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 As we jumped into the truck, then I'm going to get that turdy point buck. I'm going to get that turdy point buck. I'm going to get that turdy point buck. Dirty point buck, yeah, I'm gonna get that dirty point buck. Uh, the 
acting I do, I I'm going to get that 30-point, 30-point buck. Mm. Oh, oh, oh.